Hello, I'm Albert Lesnick, and this is my first video tutorial on Photoshop. And today, we're going to create a laser. So right here, we got a photo, photo that I took from um, Fallout New Vegas, and just kind of added some remnant enclave guys, soldiers, whatever, just kind of added them into there. Now, what I want to do is add an a, a laser such as this like that and kinda add some cool lens flares and stuff we'll get to that later now let's open it up our photo in Photoshop here I got CS5 should be able to do this in any edition of Photoshop so what we're gonna do here is um... okay control shift N which will create a new layer control shift N remember that it's very useful. Um, and you're going to call this laser 1. Now, um, we're going to go into poly, polygonal lasso, lasso tool. You can press L, whichever. Um, and you just want to go ahead and click where the barrel of the gun starts. Just kind of drag it down there and kinda make it go with the same uh... What, what would you call that just make it look like it's supposed to be there I don't, I don't know what the proper term for that would be as you see it just kinda looks like it's actually coming out at you yeah like that now what you want to do is get the paint bucket here press G whatever and just kinda fill that in that's good. Now, go back to your lasso tool here and just deselect that, just just so it doesn't look all chunky, whatnot. Kind of bothers me. Now, you want to right-click it, go into Blending Options, your layer one or laser one. Now, click Inner Glow and Outer Glow, and change the blending modes to normal on both of them. Now what you're going to do is go into Outer Glow, let's get that good red, and do the exact same for, for um, Inner Glow and Outer Glow, yeah. Now, what you're going to do is adjust the size, make it kind of brighter. And not that bright. Do the exact same for the inside. Now, what we're going to do next here is let's kind of adjust the colors just so it matches like the laser that you see in Fallout or video games, whichever. Let's kind of change it. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Let's change it to a, yeah, like a, a more yellowy kind of look just to give it that orange color into it. It's a big ass laser right there. Like, look at that. Man, that destroys someone second. Okay, now. And there you go. You really got that's all you really need to do. Now, from on here on out, from here on out, if you want to make it look a little better, what you can do is either go into render lens flare just kind of add like a lens flare or something to make it kind of look a little more professional so to say I don't know how this is going to be professional oh wait you're going to have to go and kind of merge all these layers together I don't like merging layers but it's it's got to be done sometime and you can either go into digital anarchy no light factory where you can just go into there and kind of pick out your kind of lens flare or whatever and just add it in there whatever but since lots of you people may not have it what you can do is just go into filter render let's go to lens flare and it's just let's just add something that will kind of match the laser uh, you don't really get much options with the the stock lens flare that they give you on Photoshop, but it'll just have to do for now. 
Now, and you pretty much got that laser done. See, it's as simple as that. Now, for all you people with no light factory, you can just go ahead and add that lens flare in there. Just give it more vibrant lighting, extra stuff, whatever. And there you have it. You got your very own laser. Oh, wow. That's a big difference. Look at that. It's a big chunk. And this looks nice, but I don't know what I, where I messed up there. Just make it a little skinnier when you make yours. Just as a word of advice, unless you really want that giant ass laser, it's, it's really up to you. And thank you for watching this video. Um, Albert Lesnick. And on behalf of Broadway Digital, of course. Yes.